Hey guys, just coming back to you again, answering some more questions, and I'm going to do a meditation today as well. Uh, today I'm talking about nasal breathing and the benefits of doing deep breath work, as well as avoiding really breathing in a lot through your mouth. Uh, there's a bunch of different websites that I found uh, that I've watched to, uh, with like gurus for meditation, yoga, and then there's this other one called breathing.com that I'll put the link below. It actually has really cool explanations uh, in a way that, <clears throat> excuse me, I think could answer a lot of questions. And so one of the reasons I like to do nasal breathing as opposed to mouth breathing, one, it's not going to dry out your mouth. Uh, the nose is actually meant for breathing. And this is actually really cool. I know that it helps create nitric oxide. There's a gene called the T2R38 that stimulates no nasal receptors. So when you're breathing through your nose, it actually reacts to chemicals and bacteria in the air, which produces the nitric oxide. And it also helps to fight off bad bacteria. So you ever want to avoid a lot of the colds, number one, boost your immune system. That's one of the things I talked about in my last video. And D3 is one of the biggest things that you can take for your immune system boosting, especially when the sun is low during cold months. In Idaho here, we don't have a lot of time in good sunshine. So even a visit to a tanning bed, you're going to want at least the UVA rays. Um, and there's a lot of people that are going to say, don't do it, whatever. I don't use sunscreen. <clears throat> Excuse me. I figure my body was made for the sun, so I go in the sun. That's me. I'm 42 years old, almost 43 years old, and I think I look pretty good for, you know, I mean, I still have some wrinkles on my forehead and little lines and different things, but whatever, big deal. Anyway. So breathing through your, your nose, it uh, works as a vasodilator. And what that means is that your blood vessels, vaso, <clears throat> dilate, expand. So basically, it's helping to expand and contract your blood vessels, your arteries, capillaries. So you're going to get more oxygen to your organs, which is really awesome. Um, also, breathing through your nose is going to warm the air. It's going to moisten the air so that you're able to get a better quality of air to your lungs. <clears throat> Excuse me, with the filters um, that your nose has. So the surface area of the alveoli where oxygen is absorbed in the lungs is expanded. And that's what the nitric oxide does. That's how it, it increases that. Like I said, I'll put this link. Um, link in there. Better brain function. That's, that's nice with having notes in a way. Yeah. So better brain function. Um, when you're getting more oxygen, you're going to be able to think more clearly. You're not going to be as foggy brained. Of course, also goes back to what's your diet like. Do you have a lot of sugar in your diet? Do you have a lot of artificial anything in your diet? Really? Why would anyone want to have artificial colors or flavors or anything that is a neurotoxin? Um, excitotoxins are also some of these toxins. I'm kind of off a little on the tangent. But you want to have a whole healthy, wholesome practice that you're using in your life to be able to stay out of that sympathetic, sympathetic excuse me, dom dominant state. Uh, which basically means that you're always in this fight or flight, nervous, uh, which a lot of us can get in. We, we human, we human hard. And when we are having a stress in our daily lives, whether it's with work, family, friends, finances, something happens, we lose a, a loved one. <clears throat> Excuse me, we find ourselves in that sympathetic dominant state of stress, which upregulates your adrenals and you're going to have a lot of cortisol, you're going to have a lot of adrenaline, 
when you're doing that, it downregulates your thyroid, so you're going to be more prone to depression, melancholy. Your food is not going to be digested well, so you're going to become more toxic for one. <clears throat> Excuse me, not getting the nutrients that your body needs and the quantity that needs, and so you're going to become deficient in important minerals, which lowers your immune system. It can cause gut health problems. And so if you're not digesting your food well, you're not sleeping well because you're stressed, you're not going to produce serotonin, which is produced in the gut. And there's a lot of different videos uh, talking about that gut-brain connection, which is really important to take in consideration. And so breathing is just part of it, but that's just what we're discussing today. And so when you do that deep breathing, in through your nose and you could either go out through your mouth or out through your nose it really doesn't matter how you exhale but of course the best way to do it is inhaling through your nose it's also going to be restricting the amount of airflow that's coming in and so you're going to have greater absorption of your oxygen because as you're pulling it in instead of just <sighs> your body really doesn't have a time in there to do any exchange and so there's a type of a breathing some people call it 444 breathing 333 whatever you want to call it a lot of times I call it 369 breathing one I like the the number 369 because it's actually the number of vibration for love and it cancels out 666 which is well you know what that is darkness evil whatever so anyway I love the idea of three, six, nine. And so when I do it, what I'll do is I'll exhale all the air out of my lungs and then I'll pause for about a count to three. And then I'm going to breathe in steady through my nose for six counts. And then I'm going to pause. I could either pause for one count or three. It just depends on how I'm feeling. For you, you're going to want to gauge it how quickly you're doing this. Because when you first start, doing deep nasal breathing you can actually get kind of lightheaded don't worry it's not gonna kill you it's just you know like I said I'm in other videos and again I'm not a physician I don't diagnose I don't offer medical advice this is just what I've learned in my experience and what helps to keep me in a more calm state and in a healthier state when I am able to get out of stress because you know what I still have stress I'm not perfect and you know life gets to you <clears throat> excuse me anyway back to the breathing and so after you pause after your intake of air then you're going to exhale for nine counts and then you're going to pause again and then that's when i start over for the three counts and so three six nine and so i'll demonstrate that also you want to have your sternum elevated and so your rib cage now one way to think about it is you can raise your arms above your head and it's going to naturally excuse me naturally lift your sternum and then you're going to want to just kind of bring your arms down like you're holding a beach ball for just a moment keeping your sternum there and then just drop your arms down while your the sternum remains up position and your shoulders are relaxed you don't want to be like stiff or anything like that just a natural relaxed position with your sternum up and that's going to give you proper posture and that's also a good posture to have any anywhere that you're going you're going to have better airflow <clears throat> excuse me better intake and so you notice people start hunching over because of back pain or whatever if i give any advice i'd say go to a good chiropractor uh, naturopath they're not going to be looking for drugs. They're going to be looking for the cause of what is causing you to slouch or have your back pain. They're not going to be trying to, trying to mask it with some drug that's going to give you a dangerous side effect or could you know, ultimately end or shorten your life. Um, I prefer the natural way, personally. I love how I've been able to come from taking over 16 pharmaceuticals and clearing up my life. Um, depression is pretty minimal I mean we all get the blues and so I guess I wouldn't say that it's true depression whenever I get down um, but then I start recognizing patterns like oh gosh I'm feeling cruddy today what's going on 
I believe that astrology pays a big part of it because gravity is really huge. We're mostly made out of water, and you see what the moon does with high tide. Well, full moon makes it better. Crazies go even crazier on full moons. People are having babies. So gravity comes into consideration. <clears throat> so anyway, keeping ourselves healthy through excellent oxygen intake. I don't want to get off on too many more tangents. <laughs> so breathing in, so sternum up, relaxed, letting all the air out of my lungs, and then I'm going to pause for three, two, one. Pause briefly, and then out. Now that's a pretty long, slow, drawn out breath. I'm also a professional singer, so that's at my strength point. You might go go faster. You might want to say, okay, three, six, nine's a little strong for me right now. Maybe I want to do one, three, six, or I just want to do an even number, like three, three, three. That's fine. As long as you are focusing on your intake through your nasal cavity so that you're getting that nitric oxide and you're able to vasodilate, get your better blood flow through your body, you're fighting any bacteria that might be there, and then you're pausing and allowing your lungs to make that exchange. Toxic air or junk that can come out while you're breathing, and then you're going to exhale. So, let's see, I'm at 12 minutes. I'm just kind of keeping track of my time here. I've got some notes from, I did a meditation a couple of years ago that was recorded in a studio. I haven't been able to get it, a copy of it, so I'll just kind of go through stuff right here. So some of the aspects of a good quality meditation is that you're not going to want to be driving in your car listening to a meditation. So you're going to want to make sure that you can be in a quiet space, preferably with no distractions. It's not always feasible. And so just do your best. You can also take those distractions and let them be a benefit for you while you're doing your meditation. <clears throat> and so you want to keep a positive mindset. And so as you're relaxing, maybe you're going to sit up in a chair and just have your back comfortably against a chair. Some people prefer more of a yoga pose where you're actually sitting over your tailbone. Your kundalini, uh, your chakras are aligned, and your chin is kind of up. You can actually balance really well in this position. Some people will clasp their fingers, have their palms up, down. It really doesn't matter. It's preference. You know, it, there's so many ways that things can be done. I don't think there's necessarily a right or a wrong way. There's good, better, best in my book. And so just depends on what quality, what length you're going to be doing. And so in a lot of the meditations that I like to do, I like to focus on my breathing. And so it kind of helps to distract because you're going to have ideas coming in your mind. Your mind might be racing, especially if you're a woman. We tend to have all these little doors open of things going on. I got to do the grocery shopping. I got to make dinner. I got to go get the kids, whatever it is. And so it's learning how to shut those doors. And one way that you can do it is when you get a distracting idea or something, just observe that it's there. Don't try to fight it. Just observe. Like, okay, I'm thinking about I got to go get the kids from school in about two hours or whatever. Okay you know what, I don't need to focus on that right now. I know that's coming up, and I've got time, and I'm taking this time for myself. And so what I'll do is I'll take that little idea or thought that's in my mind, and I'll just kind of put it in a little box, and I'll close the box up in my mind, and I'll set it on a shelf. And if another idea or thought comes to my mind, 
then I do the same thing. I just observe it briefly, even if it's a moment, and then say, oh, not right now, and I'll put it in that box and on that shelf. And then get back to focusing on my breathing. Uh, you can count. Some people like to count backwards. Some people like to count forward. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Some people like a mantra. A friend of mine, Matthew Mornian, who's also an awesome mentor of mine, talks about breathing in to the different areas that you're focusing. Like, for instance, breathing into your your their crown chakra, your third eye, your, your throat, whatever it may be. And imagine yourself like you're this cartoon character. And when you're breathing in, it could be like you're seeing this little vortex coming into that area, like, like it's sucking in or maybe a little whirlpool of energy or air coming in. And so you're focusing energy into whatever position of your body that you're focusing on. So lots of different ways that you can do it. <coughs> Excuse me. And so what I am going to do is I've got some notes that I've had from, like I said, that previous meditation that I thought was pretty nice. It's, it wasn't a long meditation, so I might uh, make it a little bit longer just for viewers because I like to try to keep videos around half an hour if I can, especially with some of these new cool things coming up. We'll see how they go. <laughs> So I'm going to put on a little bit of background music. I've got some wind chimes here. It's a royalty-free background, which is kind of nice. Kind of gives a little bit of ambiance. Um, and so that's always a good thing to have. You don't always have to have it dark when you meditate. But if it helps you, by all means, do whatever that you need to do so that your experience can be soothing, it can be healing, and it can get you out of that sympathetic dominant state of stress. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you can balance your body out by upregulating your thyroid again through meditation, through relaxation, and then you're able to digest your food better, which helps you sleep better. You just, it's just better. <laughs> so, all right. So, when you're ready, Find a comfortable position, whether that's sitting or lying down. Do what you can to empty your mind. Just pay attention that there may be thoughts, there may be emotions, there may be ideas that come into your mind. And that's okay. That's normal. And whether you want to take them and put them into a box and onto a shelf or you can look at them like they're behind a door and you can just gently shut that door and say I'll go back to that later just shut those doors and allow your mind to just become peaceful just be in the moment what's around you what do you notice what do you hear maybe you might hear some traffic driving by, some birds chirping. You might have your washer or dryer or your dishwasher running. It really doesn't matter. What's, what sounds do you hear? Just become present. Are there any sensations that you're feeling? Maybe the clothing on your body? the chair or the bed or couch that you're sitting or lying on. Be aware of your sensations. Is it dark in the room? Is it light in the room? Do you sense the light around you? Are you out in the sunshine? Do you sense the warmth from the sun? What smells do you smell? Maybe there's a favorite scent or just the comfort of your home. Is there any taste in your mouth? What sensations do you have? And if your mind wanders or you're struggling to imagine anything that we're going to go through, that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. The sound of my voice can relax you at any subconscious level and guide you deeper 
into a state of relaxation. When you're ready to relax, you can close your eyes and focus on your breathing. You can feel your eyelids as they become heavier, allowing you to relax even more deeply. Follow your breath. And we're just going to focus on breathing in through your nose. Pause for a moment and then breathe out through your mouth. Another brief pause at the bottom and breathe in. Fully expanding your lungs and pause and then breathe out. A brief pause at the bottom and then breathe in. Another pause and breathe out. Continue breathing and relaxing. Focus on your breath as you breathe in. Good, easy and steady. Pausing at the top and then breathing out, allowing all of the air to escape your lungs. Continue to focus on your breathing. And as you continue to focus on your breathing, I want you to just notice what your head feels like in your face any warm sensations, maybe relax your face into a smile because when we smile we use fewer muscles and it helps us to become in a greater relaxed state. Relaxing the muscles in your neck, relax your chest and your abdominal areas. And you can imagine in your mind's eye all of your internal organs functioning as they should, having their optimum health and their optimum strength. And the beauty that you don't even have to focus on what they're doing because they do their job so wonderfully to keep you healthy and whole. Relax your back. Relax your buttocks and your thighs. Allow those large muscles to really become relaxed and heavy all the way to the bone. And relax your calves and your feet. Another great way to relax is you can tense up your muscles and then release them. And you can do it all over your body or you can do it bits at a time. Anywhere that you feel like there's stress or heaviness, just tense up those muscles for a moment and then relax them. Fully allowing and embracing relaxation. You can imagine standing at the end of a wide hallway looking at an ornately carved set of doors, beautiful doors. And as you walk towards this elevator, you can go even deeper and more relaxed. You open those ornate carved doors that are covering the elevator doors and you open them out towards you. The doors open and you can enter. You'll be able to see 10 round numbered buttons. After pushing the ground level button, the doors close. 
You can notice each number light up as you reach each four. A bright white bluish light on each number descending until you reach ground level. 10, letting go and relaxing. Focusing on your breath. Nine, continuing to breathe deeply through your nose. Pausing, releasing, pausing, and inhaling. Eight, drifting down, deeper and deeper. Seven, six, deeper and deeper. Five, four, feeling deeply calm and relaxed. Three, two, feeling a deep sense of inner calm. One, when the elevators open, the doors open, you can step into your own inner sanctuary. As you look around, you can see many peaceful areas where you can choose to rest. Everything seems familiar to you and you can feel safe and secure here. You're able to notice beautifully landscaped courtyard garden around you. You can see marble walkways. Looks like they've been chiseled away and you can see just a little wear from the rain. And they're cool to your bare feet as you step on the white marble walkways. There's gazebos with ornate benches. They look like they've been hand carved and chiseled with trapezoid legs to support the benches. A rainbow of colored raised flower beds is before you. And it smells so good. Smell the lavender. You can smell the roses and the daisies and the lilies. And you can see the little bees as they buzz around, happily gathering their pollen. There's a large fountain with fish swimming calmly around. And as you look into the fountain, you smile as you see your, your face and your reflection. And it just feels good to be in your beautiful inner sanctuary. You can hear birds as they're singing their beautiful little songs, happily chirping. Wind chimes as well are singing melodiously in the distance. It's taking in the vibration and the love that nature has to give and offer you. The fresh scent of these wildflowers feels deeply and cleansing and healing. It's such a wonderful feeling just to be able to relax. As I speak positive statements in first person, you'll be able to feel as if my words are your own. You can take a step over to either a bench and sit down, or you can continue to gaze into this beautiful crystal pool of water, like a mirror. You could even lay down in this soft, cool grass, neatly trimmed and groomed. 
every day, in every way, I am getting better, better, and better. My mind and my body are able to heal and rejuvenate every time I breathe and relax. I am grateful for every blessing in my life. I am able to feel a deep sense of inner peace. I consciously and unconsciously continue positive resources and I use those positive resources because I am responsible and I make wise decisions. Every time I practice deep breathing and meditation, I am more able to relax and visualize. My visual visualization in pictures, my visualization or audio in sounds around me, my sentience and feeling. All of these senses become stronger and more perceptive as I relax. I love myself deeply. I forgive myself. I know that I am only human. And as a human, I make mistakes, and that's okay. As long as I realize that I am still a good person, I am good enough, I am completely capable. Just take a moment and just listen to the birds as they sing. Continue to relax and allow your mind to drift, to breathe, to listen to the wind chimes and enjoy the music that those tones bring to your heart. Breathe in energy to your crown chakra, like it's flowing in to a vortex. Allow that energy to vibrate into that vortex every time you breathe in. And when you breathe out, you're able to release in the same way. Continue that breathing and incorporate and add your third eye. Breathing into your third eye and your crown. integrating those energies and add your throat chakra breathing in life-giving energy to free your ability to speak to be honest to be you be true and imagine these three chakras merging as one as you're breathing in this healing energy the four chakras. And then let's bring in our solar plexus, that beautiful yellow warm energy in our belly areas, right below the rib cage, between the navel, breathing in energy there and allowing it to integrate with the heart, throat, third eye, and crown, incorporating these energies together. And add the navel, breathe in to the navel, that grounding energy, cleansing any sexual dissonance that there may be, or disharmony, 
which also in turn helps to clear up your throat chakra. And we're incorporating all of these energies together. And then add your root chakra. Breathe in to your tailbone. And exhale, releasing anything that needs to go. We can incorporate all of our chakras into one harmonious kundalini, allowing everything to flow. And you can imagine maybe it's like a stream where there's little whirlpools gathering and you're cleaning each of those little pathways that connect those little pools of energy and color. Then you can connect the star chakra, bring down the white bright light, allow it to cleanse and go down all the way through your body, through your feet. You can extend through your feet, your roots, your anchor down into the ground. And tie those roots around tourmaline and also around citrine. Very cleansing, very grounding energies and crystals. And allowing the chakra in the earth to come back up into your feet and up back through your head. And so you're getting this flow of energy both directions. As you breathe, notice how light you feel. Notice how you just might smile a little and have a better day. In just a moment, I will count upwards from one to five. And you can come out slowly. One, feeling better than before, more relaxed, even like you may have had eight hours of blissful, relaxing sleep. Four, slowly and calmly, you can come back to a full awareness, feeling better than before. Three, coming out slowly. Two, more awake. One, wide awake, feeling better than before. So I'm hoping that that helps bring you more comfort and calm today, helping you to feel more centered, grounded, relaxed, and connected, integrated in your chakras, integrated with your breathing and for greater health and i wish you well today much love and light namaste this is amaria sweet signing off